Hey, shake them dreads. Girl, shake them dreads. Girl, shake them dreads. It's Tina Vina back with another video. So, it is my three and a half month lock up day. Yay! We made it. I still enjoy being locked these past three and a half months. I hope to make this month's update video a lot shorter than my last update video, so let's get right into it. I thought that people would be a little more apprehensive, like maybe a little bit more judgmental since I had locks. It's a taboo hairstyle and the law that just came out stating that employers can discriminate against people with locks. I thought that, you know, the world was kind of against it, but I feel like People have embraced my locks more than anything. When I had weaves and sew-ins, stuff like that, braids, uh, people kind of just let me do my own thing. But I feel like now that I have locks, people are more curious about me and who I am. And I guess I just look more interesting as a person. So socially, I feel like I've been more accepted with locks than before when I didn't have them. Now when I'm out, I'm talking to everybody about them. Talking to everybody about a little bit of anything, really. My hair has been thickening like nobody's business. It's nowhere as thick. Well, I want it to get a little bit thicker, or I want it to thicken more, should I say. But it has gotten thicker. So let me show you some of my buds, my best buddies. So this guy here starts off so small and skinny and then it thickens and then it gets small again so by talking to my friends and people that have locks they're saying that this may be close to the size that my actual lock may be because of the way my hair is budding the locking process is definitely starting my hair is coarser down the sides of my hair and towards the nape of my neck but then my hair is a looser curl pattern down the center so the diameter, the roundness of my locks seem to be thicker up here, although my parts are the same size. So back here, my coils and my locks seem to be really small because the curl there was much smaller. But they thickening up, y'all. So yes, we have budding happening in my hair this one budded a lot so this one had a lot of additional hair in it and i just decided to wrap the hair around and kind of just keep trying to get it to form the lock this is another good one so yeah these are just some of my buds my hair, as you can see, has definitely got frizzy um, over time. And I was told to embrace the frizz because it's what actually forms the lock, the, the, the outer portion of your lock. So the comb coil is the base. I started my locks with comb coils, so that's the actual base of the lock. And so when your hair kind of does its own thing and comes out of the coil and rewraps around itself, that is what causes it to thicken up, those stray hairs. So I'm letting my frizzies do exactly what they want to do. No power to you. Mm. I also noticed that I've been getting single strand knots. Now, if you guys were loose naturals or had experience with natural hair before, or I don't know if you just transitioned from a shortcut, if you had natural hair, then I know you know about single strand knots. Single strand knots are these little bitty knots that are at like the ends and the tips of our hair. I've decided to get my handy scissors. See all of this right here? The frizzy and the excess, that to me, to me it's just dead hair some people would say you know keep it but I don't want people coming up to me pulling pulling the strings of my hair I could sit here and do it all day but I won't these single strand knots get together with these other frizzy hairs and get all tangled up and we're not having that kind of party we're not doing that so I'm just gonna snip that off you know just just to keep it nice and organized we don't need intermingling with the locks because then it gets tangled. I like everybody to have their own, their own little space. 
As far as dryness is concerned, I have experienced a little dryness and some of that can be my fault. Um, I do have color at the ends of my hair. Everybody knows color dries your hair out. Other than that, in the morning when I wake up, if I want to just reshape my hair or I feel like it may be dry, what I'll do is either in the shower or using the water from my sink, I will get a little bit and wet my hair and maybe put like some oil in my hand, spray the water, pour the oil out of my hand, rub it together and massage it into my head. After that, I'll let it kind of air dry and it does its own thing. That to me is a wash and go. Boom, boom, cat! Too much, too soon. It's okay. Is there any, oh, length, length, length. Of course I have to talk about my length. I haven't gotten that much. Um, I haven't gotten that much length at all. What's happening is, I, my hair is growing. I definitely feel the weight on my locks, but my locks aren't as springy as they used to be when they were first comb coils. So when they were first comb coils, I could stretch it so far. I can stretch these all past my collarbone and stuff. And But now that my hair is starting to lock together, I think from washing it and shrinking and washing it and shrinking, my hair is really starting to form the lock. So my hair doesn't stretch as much anymore. So although my hair is growing, I feel like it's also shrinking to form my lock, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I can definitely feel more weight on my head. I can feel more hair on my head. It is starting to touch my shoulders a little bit, but I feel like it kind of started there. So, I mean, you win some, you lose some. But other than that, I don't have anything else to talk to you guys about this month. So I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all a whole lot. And peace out.